You're not at home now, twinkled my colleague once as I removed the tea bag from my mug and left it to drain in the plug hole of the office sink. Good-natured banter was all part of the fun of being with colleagues. I think of her every time I take out the tea bag and put it in the plug hole at home. I find I need to structure my day with brown liquid these days. Coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon. It only seems right. But I see my friend looking at me with a raised eyebrow as my standards drop even lower. A cup of tea is fine in itself. But when you drink it in someone else's company, it takes on a new significance. It's no longer just a marker of the hour, but a sacrament of communication between you. Just long enough to talk through the sad thing or the problem thing or the happy thing. It becomes a cup of salvation, of healing. For now, it's a homely comfort. But looking at it, there's a promise there that tea will be drunk in one another's company again someday. For healing, or joy, or consolation. I pray that then I will be able to say with the psalmist, How shall I repay the Lord for all the benefits that he has given to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Amen.